Welcome back to Tarot and Beyond. Today's reading is the next 24 hours, so we're going to be looking at themes or potentials that may arise over the next 24 hours. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you happen to be called to it, then it is the next 24 hours after that. We have three options to choose from today. I was intuitively guided to these particular images. So we have group number one, which corresponds to pile number one, as the hurdle jumper. Group number two, which corresponds to pile number two, is the tongs. And group number three, corresponding to pile number three, also is the ketchup bottle or barbecue sauce bottle. So you can use the timestamps linked below to jump ahead to your chosen reading or readings. Use your intuition to guide you to the reading that feels right for you. If you feel called to watch more than one, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure that you're taking the messages from within the readings that resonate with you and leave the rest. We'll see you in your readings. All right. Hi, group number one. Welcome to your 24 hours ahead reading. So we've got the image that you guys chose here as the hurdle jumper. So right away, just from the image, I feel like the next 24 hours for you, you're going to be sort of clearing something that felt like a challenge or a block or something that you've had to overcome. So the next 24 hours ahead, you may be faced with a challenge, but I feel like you're going to be kind of leaping or bounding over top of it. And it's because you've been able to exercise that either physically or mentally metaphorically, you've been able to exercise your discipline, your restraint, or your work ethic to be able to overcome whatever this thing is. So let's take a look at your cards and see what is potentially coming in the next 24 hours. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. Blessed, number 22, and twos are also about balance. Four um, is the sort of boil down of two and two, so that also speaks of stability. So you've got balance and stability. Discipline and hard work is also connected to the number four. So balance coming from discipline and hard work, which is what I was getting from the image you guys chose. And then the tribe, number eight, eight speaks of power and also of balance because it is the yin yang or it's also the infinity sign so it's kind of like as above so below the tribe here i just heard mutual support so there may be something that's coming through in a balanced way based on your connections twos can speak of connections partnerships relationships of all kinds Eight can be about strength, empowerment, and karma. And like I said, four is that stability, discipline. Um, they just also gave me the word restraint. So having better boundaries almost is what it looks like in relationships to help you to overcome a challenge that you faced in the past. And through practice and through repetition is what they just said. You're able to overcome something that would have tripped you up before. But instead, because your technique has changed, you're able to leap over the challenge and get to the quote unquote finish line. So I feel like there's balance in relationships is really what I'm seeing here initially. Let's take a look at the rest of these cards though. Akilanda, the goddess of never not broken. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. And I had to censor her because YouTube doesn't like nudity. Okay, we also have gentleness. Archangel Sandalphon, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. and rabbit pregnancy and fears wow yeah the rabbit speaks to me of fertility and it's it's a hyper vigilant type of creature so whenever i see rabbits i see that it can be about being vigilant to your environment making sure your environment is conducive to reproduction and safety therein but i feel like a lot of this is it, it is yeah, it is about reproduction because the tribe here with the mother giraffe and the baby giraffe, that's kind of speaking to me of that reproduction as well. So it's kind of like your offspring or your environment, your tribe, the community around you. 
I feel like you're going to be blessed by gentle people or you, you are feeling blessed because you're able to be more gentle and approach people in your environment in a more balanced way by acknowledging and liberating yourself from any previous notions of shame is what they just said because the, the goddess of never not broken is like it's okay to not be completely okay in the sense that it's okay to have these wounds from the from the past it doesn't mean you can't overcome them it doesn't mean that you're broken or that you can't have these healthy relationships i feel like there's these fears that you're facing within yourself that could be the hurdle in and of itself right facing the fear of how do i how do i overcome this experience of shame or how do i overcome this experience of fear or social connection maybe you're feeling isolated maybe you're feeling as though there's resistance to really opening up and being vulnerable with people. Maybe you're experiencing fear around getting pregnant or fear of uh, children, <laughs> you know, like not necessarily fear of children, but like fear of having children or not having children by a certain age. Um, I'm seeing here, it's like the next 24 hours, you're kind of just asking yourself these big questions of how do I want to relate to other people? What would it feel like for me to be blessed in this situation? And how can I overcome these challenges that I perceive to be in my way? So it feels very much like they're internal challenges, although if they are external at all, it's more so about kind of like the interaction between you and another person or people. So there could be sort of something that happens and you need to gently but assertively set a boundary. I see you approaching whatever the situation might be if it is an external and environmental situation, with an air of understanding. So non-judgment, gentleness, and understanding. It's choosing to see things from a different perspective. It's choosing to respond from a, a more balanced place within yourself. And by doing so, you're facing these fears and you're becoming more open which I think is where that fertility really comes in from the rabbit. It's like you're becoming more open and connected. And as a result, you're able to move forward. You're able to overcome those barriers. And you feel more capable because of it. You know, like that runner who's taking those hurdles, those jumps. You feel strong. You feel capable. And you're moving quite quickly. And I think that's where these blessings are coming from. It's this gentleness that helps you to win the race, you know, like the rabbit and, um, or what is it, the turtle and the hare, or something like that, where the, the slower and steady one wins. But in this case, what I'm seeing is that the hare has the advantage because the turtle can't jump over <laughs> these hurdles, whereas the hare can. So having the ability to kind of raise yourself up and move over something instead of becoming blocked by it. I feel like we should get a couple charms, so let's do that. Okay, so for group number one, you have bamboo and a green moon, and I want to put them both here on gentleness, so I feel like this is to do with growth. Stability, they just gave me the word stability as well. So stability of your growth will help you to connect to your emotional well-being and provide and hold space for other people in a very balanced way as well. So again, this could even be to do with, you know, if you work with people one-on-one, -on -one, it could be family, it could be your relationship with yourself, but it could also be if you work with people one-on-one, -on -one, this is helping you to have gentleness and promote growth for yourself and others through emotional connection professionally or recreationally or you know just through your your connections that already exist in your life your friends your family but I'm seeing that you're you're really you're kind of seeing something sprout you're seeing something come to fruition in the next 24 hours that is a product of your gentleness and we have the cat with the cherry blossoms. So this always reminds me of spring and I want to put it here on the tribe, specifically on the number eight. 
So it feels like this is, oh, this could be the eighth month. What is the eighth month? Oh, that would have been August. Eighth month is August. So something may have happened in August that has, over the next 24 hours, um, impacted what's happening spring and and to August so May to August is what they just said May June July August yeah so that period of time may have been where you were doing a lot of work or training yeah they just the uh, spirit just said training so it's kind of like you're training for this marathon or you're training for this race or you're training for this type of interaction so you've been putting in some work over the spring and summer is what I'm seeing whatever whatever that happens to be in relation to your current time period and it's over the next 24 hours unfolding because you are kind of, you've repaired a lot is what I can see within yourself. You've been able to see a lot of things that were obstructing your vision and your perspective. You're able to see more clearly now and you're able to, as a result, connect to people, people better. You're able to kind of bridge the gap. Now we have um, this rainbow and clouds and this feels like it needs to go here on blessed so i feel like this is part of the blessing it is bridging the gap there's two sides to that there's two clouds there and then the rainbow connects them both so th this feels like there's going to be blessings in your connections with people that the balance that you've trained for and that you've been able to enact helps you to overcome any challenges and to connect better with people uh, the dark cloud here the black cloud can sometimes indicate indicate negativity or challenges or frustrations is actually what they just said frustrations so i feel like these are clearing you're able to move out of any frustration or lack of clarity the dark clouds can also be you know like storms gathering fear anxiety we do have fear here so i want to put it here with rabbit i feel like these fears are starting to clear or at least you're getting perspective on them because we do have this eye that has all these lines around it too so it's like radiating out with awareness, you're able to see something more clearly. And I want to put this here on balance right in the center of that mandala. So it feels very much like you've seen something more clearly. You've been practicing this for a while. It's, it's a very self-aware type of energy that I'm getting from you. And having practiced this gentleness and compassion for self and the growth that you've seen from that, you're better able to address your own insecurities, your own fears, your own wounds, and hold space for other people who you, whom you are connected to. As a result, you're feeling more balanced and blessed by the connections that you have in your life. So that is what I see for you, group number one. The next 24 hours is looking beautiful. Um, lots of blessings coming in through this previous energy that you've been cultivating and a better experience of connection with yourself and the people around you. And it's all through non-judgment, balance, love, and that gentleness of connection that really facilitates mutual growth absolutely beautiful so i hope that this reading supports you i'm sending you many blessings thank you so much for being here thank you for supporting my work on the channel either through your views your likes your shares your subscribes through memberships if you guys are interested in diving into a deeper layer of the channel which is members only pick a card readings as well as tutorials and one-on-one -on -one, uh, live readings with me via youtube live streams members chat only you guys can sign up for that using the join button below become a member for only $10.99 a month or $34.99 with the additional um, added benefits of the soul family tier so check those out if you're interested and uh, we'll see you in the next reading love you guys bye all right hi group number two welcome to your 24 hours ahead reading so you guys chose the interesting salad tongs i don't know why spirit guides me to these things but that's just what it is you know i feel that intuitive nudge and i select the image or the card or whatever it happens to be so the salad tongs makes me think that you're kind of gingerly picking something up or connecting to something in a way that's a little bit detached but still gives you access to it you know it's like you don't have to get your hands dirty um it's more functional maybe it works better that way uh so it's it's a tool that you're using that's helping you connect but in a detached way where there's not um you're not going to get sort of messy from it Okay, so let's find out what the, how that relates to your cards so we can get a little more information about the next 24 hours for you. Oh, service. I feel good when I can help others. So this may be a tool that you have that is helping others 
And maybe it's a tool that helps you to remain detached in that way so that you can do this work for other people. Like let's say professionally, you help other people to connect it and feel their emotions. Let's say, let's say, for example, a psychologist or something like that. Well, you wouldn't want to be diving into their emotions with them and getting all dirty in them yourself because that's counterproductive. So what you would then do is hold space for them by connecting to their emotions but remaining detached as an objective observer. You hold space, but you don't get involved or enmeshed in their emotional processing. You just support it. So that's what I mean by the, the salad tongs being like a tool for connection, but detached, healthy connection that facilitates some kind of processing or growth or something like that. So service could be part of this, whether you're doing it professionally or you're doing it, you know, for a friend or family member, something like that. And we have happy, happy, beautiful. So the next 24 hours, you are going to feel happy. Group number two feels like there's going to be celebration of some kind. They're drawing my attention specifically to the balloons. So something that is worth celebrating, something that you have achieved, maybe something that you've done f in service to other people is kind of coming back in a way. And unlocking this happiness within you, this sense of satisfaction and contentment is what I'm feeling. Or maybe some kind of celebration um, to kind of, I just heard the word commemorate, but I, I can also feel the energy of, um, yeah, no, I guess commemorate is probably the best word if that's what spirit's given me. <laughs> yeah, so commemorating the work that you've done. I just heard for a group of people. So yeah, for group number two, you guys may be service workers in some description. You know, it doesn't have to be the mental health field or the spiritual field. It could be really anything. But I feel like you're being acknowledged for the work that you've done. Yang, number one. So Yang is an energy of action, doing. Oh, and they just said being of service. Yeah, so you're doing something. You're offering things to people. You're helping them to do things that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do. I just saw somebody assisting somebody in in like a nursing situation or a care, care home. Um, I don't know if that's a specific message for somebody watching or if that's just kind of like a, a general theme. But I'm feeling that that specific energy of, of like, let me help you, what can I do to help you, but doing it in, in a slightly detached yet still compassionate way, which again, it leads me to the idea that this is something you're doing professionally and not necessarily uh, just for shits and gigs, you know? <laughs> and we have... Yeshe Sogyal. Oh my god, the names on these cards. Late Lady of the Lotus Born. Embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. So getting connected to your body, I'm seeing with Yang and uh, Lady of the Lotus Born, being connected to your body provides you with deep bliss and happiness. So maybe you're even being of service to people in a physical way in some, like they were showing me with the, the care home or nursing example. It's like physical service to others, being physically supportive of other people in a way that helps them to recover or to heal or something like that. And you're being celebrated for it. They keep showing me the balloons. Maybe it's a birthday. Maybe you have a birthday in the next 24 hours. Um, or you just had a birthday and there's something there about this happiness and contentment and being acknowledged or, or um, commemorated in some way. I don't know what that commemoration is about, but that's in there somehow. And then we have Angel Therapy, Archangel Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. So I feel like also part of this is the angels wanting to be of service to you because you are an earth angel. You are an, a service to others being. I can feel that from this reading group number two. So you're here to be of service to others, to help to heal them, to, or not to heal them, but to help them to heal, to hold space for other people. You're very loving and compassionate. Um, 
part of this service work is through your own happiness and your own bliss. So the more you embody that, the more you are that, the more you can share that and provide that for others. So if you have any, any worries or anything, any burdens or anything like that, they're saying, you know, give that to the angels or work with them more directly because they can be of service to you, which will help you be of service to other people. And I see that, you know, that's something that brings you a lot of satisfaction and joy. I feel good when I can help others happy, happy and embodiment is the deepest bliss like yes you are very motivated by being of service to others because it does provide you with that deep sense of purpose contentment and um yeah a deep sense of bliss is what i'm getting where you're able to to see the positive impact that you're making and that continues to motivate you to to give and to do in those in those fields or in those realms so yeah i'm seeing the angels can help to kind of remove some things that were weighing you down and that will clear space for more happiness more bliss to be embodied and then shared and you have turtles slowness and protection hmm so in the next 24 hours it's going to be a little bit of a give and take is what they're showing me um part of it is slowing down and making sure that you are taking care of yourself because i know as givers and if you're in group number two you are a giver okay so you are a giver that means that you also need to give to yourself you need to make sure that you are filling your own cup because as you know i'm sure you've heard this before you can't pour from an empty cup so you do have to replenish yourself and make sure that your needs are met and you're caring for you so that you can go and do all of that for other people as well so slowing down in the next 24 hours is going to be helpful doing a little bit of angel therapy work to help to lift any of those burdens or to clear any of that residual energy that you've maybe taken on through your service work to others and then being able to take action in something that feels inspiring Um, i'm also seeing moving your body can be a way to slow down and to release some of that energy that you've kind of built up or acquired from others you're an empath i can feel that group too so you're you're like a sponge for energy so you want to make sure that you're cleansing your field regularly even if you're not doing spiritual work you're still interacting with people especially if you are physically interacting with them if you're touching them maybe you're helping them stand up or you're helping them walk or you're um, doing let's say for example you're doing spiritual healing if you're laying hands on with reiki you want to be clearing that energy out because there is an interchange you know when we when we touch someone or we're around them or even if we emotionally connect to them um, we are kind of merging the fields energetically and so we need to make sure that if there is any spillover or any kind of kickback from that we clear that out to maintain our integrity to be able to And in this case, integrity is not about morality. Integrity is about your energetic field being in alignment with yourself and functioning well. So yeah, they're saying physical exercise can help. Um, It doesn't have to be vigorous, although yang energy does tend to be very sort of like go, go, go. So it may be going for a run. It may be slowing down and doing some yoga or some tai chi or just something that's very sort of controlled action based movement that helps to clear energy um even just going for a brisk walk is what they just said you know it doesn't have to be complicated it doesn't have to be spiritual in nature it can just be something physical that gives you a sense of happiness and relief and release that's going to help you better be of service to others because your energy is clear grounded and you're in a state of happiness and bliss that is where you can be of best service to others let's grab some charms for you as well group two Okay, let me get down here. I can feel those at the bottom. Oh, we've got lots for you. So the rainbow with the unicorn on it, I can never pick these up. Rainbow with the unicorn on it makes me feel like you're going to be, they just said over the moon, but I was going to say like over the rainbow about how you can be of service to others or the type of care that you provide. Uh, This little charm says you are always in my heart so again i feel like you have a lot of compassion and care for other people for for yeah just people in general but especially for those that you love and i want to put this over here on the lotus born for whatever reason it feels like the embodiment and deepest bliss that you're meant to experience is actually through your heart so it's through compassion and connection and this includes like i said connection to yourself connection to your body And then by extension, connection to the world around you and your environment. 
She believed she could, so she did. So you guys are meant to believe in yourself so that you can accomplish great things. And in the next 24 hours, the angels are wanting to help you to do that. So again, they're talking about clearing and releasing anything that has kept you sort of um, uh, like not believing in yourself. But I'm really actually seeing the opposite. I see that you, you do believe in yourself quite a lot. And it's because you've proven to yourself that you can through your continued action. I feel like you are the type of person who, when you feel like you need to do something, you just, you do it, you know? And that is really a blessing because you can feel that sense of trust uh, and connection with yourself and your body. Like if you say, body, get up and do this, it's going to get up and do that. And I think you help other people in some way to do that for themselves as well. I'm seeing the giraffe here. Giraffe always speaks to me of seeing a higher perspective or seeing up above something. And since since I was seeing there with that uh, unicorn jumping over the rainbow, it's kind of like, yeah, seeing something that is up above and beyond. And the angel therapy is where I want to put it. So I feel like um, this, you, oh yeah, you do. You have a psychic connection to the beyond, you know, to the angelic realm, to... Um, multiple different realms and so you can you can really receive a lot from that you can share and help others through that as well um, that may be part of your service for some of you and we have the shell or the clamshell oh yeah they want to put this here on turtle not just because it's a sea they're both sea creatures but also because they're both they have shells so that's for protection right it's that hard outer shell that protects you and they're bringing me back to the salad tongs again so it's like that hard tool that helps you to connect with something without actually you know touching it or interacting with it and um, it's like an extension of you right so I feel like that is a form of protection in and of itself you don't always have to connect quite so directly you can protect yourself through um, these tools or extensions whatever that happens to mean for you we also have amour and love with this locket so again, we have a lot of love here. You love people very deeply. You are a deep feeler, like I said, empath for sure. And this is what makes you happy. You also have a lot of loved ones who support you as well. Uh, so make sure that you are creating space and time to receive just as much as you give. Because again, I feel like you're a giver group number two. So you need to make time for yourself to receive, whether it's from angels or your loved ones or all of the above or from yourself, right? Giving to yourself through these uh, physical actions that are self-care based. That's actually going to open up a lot of good luck for you. We have, if I can pick this up, we've got the four-leaf clover. So good luck and happiness abound, is what Spirit just said, when you balance all things, when you take care of yourself, and that helps you take care of other people, and that brings you happiness, so it continues the cycle, right? It, it flows better that way. Um, so yeah, a lot of this next 24 hours is really prioritizing your needs so that you can give back. And we have another unicorn innocence and care is what they just said so maybe you're a parent and this is your form of service and you give and you know build and support your children um, or maybe you work with children in some kind of a service capacity but I really see here this can also be referring to yeah just being of service to others because um, unicorns they're like purifiers and uh it's through their innocence and their purity that they help to heal. So being of service in that way with that pure intention, with that divine love, with that compassion, that's really what is your highest service to humanity, group number two. And we also have this, there it is, cat on a branch, the cat on the branch. In this case, I'm wanting to put it here on angel therapy. So it feels like kind of going out on a limb a little bit, to receive some divine support so in the next 24 hours i recommend praying meditating or doing a walking meditation or some kind of a physical 
action-based meditation to help you connect to your body and to the divine to receive some connection that you're needing here to help you to be of service without depleting yourself so make sure that you are protecting yourself and remaining detached but in a compassionate loving service oriented way this will help you to achieve uh, many many things and to initiate a lot of projects that are going to help a wide group of people is what they just said Okay, so take care of yourself. I think that's the main message for you, group number two. Just prioritizing self-care, physical action, and that happiness helping you to continue in your service efforts for others. So that's what I see for you, group two. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this reading helped you to gain some insight or clarity into the next 24 hours and what your spirit guides and supporters and angels are helping you to do. Thank you for your support of my work, for your views, likes, shares, subscribes, comments. Um, thank you to the members who support the channel that way. And if you'd like to become a member and receive the additional uh, benefits of that, we've got members-only readings, tutorials, and the monthly live streams where members can jump on the chat and ask me questions or receive healing and soul scans, psychic guidance, and all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in becoming a member, you can hit the join button below. And if you don't see it there, You'll just need to go through a desktop or through the web page rather than the app to access that button so you can become a member of the channel. There are two tiers av available with different benefits. You can check those out and see which one is best for you. Um, and if you guys want a, a more in-depth personal reading with me, I am currently accepting clients, uh, I think moving into November now at this point. And um, I have two options available. One is the soul scan psychic reading style one where we're doing more energy work and more intuitive soul level work. And then the other is the intuitive reading style which is kind of like this except for we're doing it live on zoom although i do offer recorded versions of uh, remote recorded versions of both which is kind of like the pre-recorded aspect where you don't have to show up on the zoom call um, i can do it remotely like this and send it out to you in a video format so yeah lots of options for you guys to choose from thank you so much for being here i love you guys and we'll see you in the next reading bye <laughs> All right, hi group number three, welcome to your 24 hours reading, the next 24 hours. You guys chose the barbecue sauce bottle. I don't know why, but I'm really excited for this reading. This was the one that intrigued me the most because I'm like, what does that mean? Why did spirit have me choose that sauce bottle? Um, so let me ask what this is about. Oh, they just showed me a garnish on a plate. It's like something extra that you're adding, like a garnish is something extra that's added onto the plate. And same thing with sauce, it's something extra that's added onto the plate. So I'm seeing that in the next 24 hours, group number three, there's something extra that's going to be added, maybe that you weren't expecting, or maybe that will enhance what it is that you've you've kind of ordered from the universe, you know what I mean? It's like you order this meal and you have this little bit of extra just to make it that much better or more enjoyable visually or, you know, taste-wise. I feel like this is going to be a sensory experience for you, so there's something really good um, and pleasant coming in the next 24 hours that you're going to enjoy. So let's take a look at your cards and get some additional information here. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Hmm. I feel like I need more info, so I'm going to leave that here for a second. Not for you. With that nope on the fortune cookie. Oh. Okay, hold on. I don't want to jump to any conclusions. Let me keep going here. The fates. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, the fates. Okay. So there's something here that... Oh, it's like you don't necessarily like it. It's not for you and it's not, it's like you've wanted, the, oh, okay. You've wanted this group number three, but it's not for you. And fate is has something else in mind. And so there may be like a little bit in the next 24 hours, like you might feel um, like you're a bit disappointed, but you want to persevere. You want to get to where you want to be because you have your mind set on something. And it's like if you don't get what it is exactly that you want, you're able to kind of make the best of it. 
through an, an, an optimistic outlook or a positive mindset in some way. The fates are kind of testing you here is what they're showing me. They're, they're like, are you going to, are you going to be satisfied and grateful for what you do have because it's, it's meant for you? Or are you going to hold on to what you wanted, but it's not actually meant for you? So are you going to accept it with grace and make the best of it? Or are you going to are you going to become resistant or ungrateful? Hmm. Okay, let me keep going. Lalita, the red goddess. Playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to the light. Okay, so yeah, optimism and, and having a sort of like a just a, an open-minded sort of outlook to the next 24 hours I think is going to help you to see the positives in this. It's like if, if let's say, for example, there's a meal that you don't really like, but you have a sauce that you like, so you can put that on there instead and still make it somewhat enjoyable. You can persevere <laughs> through the meal. You can make it a little bit better, even though initially it's not something that you wanted or thought that you would get. Okay, so the message is actually a little bit different than I was expecting, but I still don't have all the cards out. So let's see. Victory, Archangel Sandophon, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So it's interesting that you feel like it's not something's being given to you that you didn't want, but ultimately, ultimately, this is an answer to your prayers. Fate is kind of intervening here and saying, you know, are you going to persevere to get what you want? Or are you going to give up because it's not exactly what you thought it was going to be? Ah, okay. And are you going to make the best of a quote-unquote bad situation? But I don't think it is bad. It's not, um, it's not like you can't eat that quote-unquote metaphorical meal, right? Like it's, it's not inedible. It's not something that you hate. It's just something that maybe is a little bit different than you expected. Like maybe you ordered this beautiful medium rare steak with all the fixings and you get kind of like um, a rubbery well done steak and it doesn't have any spices on it and it doesn't have any like extra stuff and you're like oh well you know I'll just dump some sauce on there and it's still good you know it's like it's it's fine it's all right it's not exactly what I wanted but it's fine and it's through that acceptance and persevering through the situation with that energy of, ha, ah, whatever, you know, it's not a big deal. It's kind of like letting the, the, the water roll off, off your back, you know, like a duck. And that's what actually leads to victory for you. So it's, it's kind of like um, it's fated for you to not have this thing exactly the way you want it because it's kind of testing how are you going to react? How are you going to respond to that? How do you choose to look at that and approach that situation. Let me see this card. Peacock, pregnancy and wealth. Okay, so this could have to do with your finances. In the next 24 hours, you could be like, maybe you're expecting to get, let's say, a payment of, you know, this amount of money, and it's a little bit less, and you go, okay, well, that's not what I was hoping for, but it's still some, it's still enough to be able to do this and this and this, which is what I needed it for. So I'm just going to make the best of that situation. You know, maybe I have to clip some coupons. Maybe I have to get thrifty with a couple of different other things, or maybe I just have to get creative with how I, how I use that or spend that, um, or invest it. You know, it's kind of like, um, being able to see the opportunity in any situation that is the perseverance that is being tested right now and you are actually a master at this is what they just showed me because they said the sauce boss you guys are like the sauce boss you have mastered this capacity to persevere through optimism and through this you know open-minded uh positive mindset yeah that's what leads you to victory and your prayers for what it is that you do truly desire have been heard they will be answered you are being tested here to have faith that's why it says have faith here that wealth will come in or that thing that you want will manifest in exactly the way that you have desired it but it's first you know fate is sort of first testing you to see if you will be grateful given something that is not exactly what you expected or wanted 
or hoped for. Um, but it doesn't mean that your prayers haven't been answered and it doesn't mean that it's not going to come to fruition. That blessing will come in and you will have everything and more is what Spirit just said. You will have everything and more. But it's, are you going to make the best of a mediocre situation, not bad situation, it's like a mediocre situation um, and accept that what maybe that ideal thing that you desire is just not for you yet yet but the fates will intervene and bring that to you or your prayers will be answered in the right time as you remain um light-hearted in this situation so over the next 24 hours remain light-hearted and really see the best of anything find that silver lining wherever it may be even if it takes you a little bit of creative thinking to find something good in the situation just choose to do that and that's whatever you set your mind to you'll be able to accomplish so yeah that will help you to really see the positive in this and to therefore manifest the positive and the victory that you're really looking for let's get some charms okay so for group three the sauce boss Okay, so you've got this jar with the shell in it. And I want to put that here on pregnancy and wealth with the peacock. So I feel like there's something that is going to be given to you. Uh, this almost looked like a baby's bottle for a second there. So if you've been wanting to get pregnant but it hasn't happened yet. There's a reason for that. And it's faded. There's a, either a specific time that this pregnancy is faded for, and it hasn't come to fruition yet. Or this is something that it's like, again, by changing your attitude or changing your reaction or your, your energetic frequency in response to the sort of quote unquote failures to, um, to get pregnant. They're saying that the wealth of this situation is through your perseverance and your mindset and allowing and trusting that fate always has something bigger planned for you is very helpful so a lot of this has to do with faith a lot of it has to do with faith now for others of you when it comes to wealth this jar and the seashell here is kind of like something that's been suspended um, so if your wealth has kind of been frozen in some way, they're like, again, this is a faded situation and it's because it's protecting you from something that's not for you or showing you something that is not for you so that you can have context and come to a state of victory later on. Now they're drawing my attention to this golden clamshell with the pearl here. So this is kind of talking about, um, like wealth as well so yeah wealth being connected here but i do want to put it on victory so the pearl is some kind of irritation um that ultimately results in an in intense value especially since it's the golden shell there's multiple colors of them there in the charm bag this one is really really precious and very unique and uh, rare is what they just said it's rare so this victory is going to yield large amounts of value for you whether it's uh, physical value or emotional value whatever it is spiritual value it's like it's it's really going to help you and there's going to be a herald because they're showing me the, the trumpet in his hand and the key oh you actually have two keys here and both of them have hearts on them so the key is really in your heart um, can you keep your heart light joyous open and having faith and trust because that is going to be the key that will herald this victory and you will know what to do is what they just said now i want to put these two keys on perseverance so i feel like the key to getting this victory and having your prayers be answered in exactly the way that you want at exactly the right time is through perseverance the keys are through remaining in that energy of faith And this one little heart here, what does this say? Oh, it says lovely. That's so sweet. So something lovely will come for you, but it may not come in the way that you expect because I want to put it here on not for you. So 
you may even be tested with something that's absolutely beautiful and wonderful, but it's not exactly what you wanted. And they're kind of the fates are testing you to see, are you going to accept that even though it's not exactly what you wanted? Um, and kind of settle, or are you going to go for something that's very much divinely aligned with you? So it's going to be different for each of you. In the next 24 hours, I would just pay attention to kind of what is showing up and how you feel about that and how you're able to respond to that. Now you have the measuring tape as well. So yeah, take stock of these things. The measuring tape talks about, you know, being aware of the, the sort of units, like how do you measure value? How do you measure... Um, wealth how do you measure how long it's going to take to persevere to get what you want these types of things and they're saying don't worry about the time it takes just focus on getting into alignment and measure that because alignment really is what will bring things about in a aligned way so remaining open-hearted optimistic and uh and they did just give me the word brave yeah brave because it takes a lot of courage to have faith in the face of disappointment. It really does. Um, now we have the sun here. Okay, I can't even pick that up, so I'll just leave it. But we've got the sun, the star, and um, a planet there. So this really speaks to me of, oh, I just got the word luminaries. So the sun, uh, the moon, those are luminaries in our particular solar system. But um, stars in general, other suns, and, and certain planets can even be bright enough that they look like luminaries but technically they're not so what this what this is telling me with these three the sun the star and the planet it is this is fated because it's divine timing and that this is talking about astrology you know the timing and things all need to be exactly in alignment at the right time for something to come about in this very faded way so this could be a big part of it too it's kind of like if you ordered something and it hasn't showed up yet so to speak from the universe this is because it just hasn't it it just hasn't lined up yet that doesn't mean it won't and the test here is are you going to persevere are you going to keep moving are you going to have faith are you going to continue keeping your heart open and practicing these skills to be able to maintain your course is what spirit just said are you going to maintain your course in the face of potential disappointment or challenge can you make the best of that situation? Because that's the victory that will lead to the alignment in its fated timing, which is not within necessarily your control directly. Indirectly it is, but um, the keys here are in perseverance. Remaining uh, determined in what it is that you are doing, why you're doing it, and how you approach that. Like I said, very much concerned with your, your mindset about this. Okay, so Spirit is saying within the next 24 hours, there will be a victory here because you will see something that is not for you, either being taken away or removed, or something that is for you will be sort of given to you and you'll be asked to do with it what feels right for you. Okay, so interesting messages here group number three not what not what i was expecting from the sauce bottle but again every reading is never what i expect it's always divinely guided and divinely timed and faded so whenever you happened to see this reading you were fated to see it i hope that the messages support you in embracing your fertility your wealth your confidence and to have faith that your prayers have been heard and will be answered in divine timing so relax keep moving towards your goals keep your heart light and your mind open and you will see things come to fruition in a very faded way sending you lots of blessings group number three thank you so much for being here supporting my work through your your views your likes your shares your subscribes your comments um thank you to the members who support the channel that way it helps me to continue creating these readings for you guys and if you want to become a member and get the additional benefits of that you can hit the join button below to check out the tiers there are two um, one is 10.99 one's 34.99 and they both have different kind of um, value to them that i provide based on the kind of content that's available to you so check that out there's multiple different pick a card readings for members only tutorials as well as the monthly live streams where members can ask me questions and I will respond directly plus
pulling cards or doing psychic energy reading and healing so uh that is what i have for you guys oh and if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me i am booking into november now um for a select uh, few clients so if you guys want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, there is intuitive readings available like this with cards and charms or uh, the psychic and soul level healing readings as well so you can choose between those and it's through my website which is linked below it's tarotandbeyond.com love you guys and we'll see you in the next reading bye